What's up, everybody? Welcome to a trailer reaction for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I'm one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the producer slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Are you admiring my Ghostbusters jet? No, I love it. Yeah, I was going to say, who are you going to yeah, call? Who are you going to call, Greg? I'm a big Ghostbusters fan. I don't know if you know that about me. Uh, huge. You're, you might be the biggest Ghostbusters fan I've ever met in my Thank life. Thank you. That means a lot to me. I, I can't imagine. I, well, actually, now I'm kind of offended. It, the, I, really? Well, you might be the biggest Ghostbusters fan, and I was like, "Thank you," and I've ever met. You've met another person as obsessed with Ghostbusters as me. Well, I'm, leaving. I'm not in the top five in the world. You don't think? I like to hedge my bets, Greg. I'm leaving. Room. You haven't met anybody. I'm leaving room. Are you? You know you what I mean? Mike Aransky. What happens if Dan Aykroyd and I hit it off one day? And I, don't, and I I'm think like, I'm a bigger fan than Dan Aykroyd. You is. think you're a bigger fan of Ghostbusters than Dan Aykroyd? The movie that made his. No one had heard about Dan Aykroyd. Blues Brothers. Before baby, that. they heard about him. They knew before about that him. movie. They knew about him. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, yes, uh, the Frozen Empire trailer has dropped. So of course we are going to react to it. However, there's also an international trailer that Ooh. has dropped. We're going to react to that, too. It's exciting. So you're getting a double dose here of kind of funny live reactions. Of course, you can get this show on YouTube. You can get it on Patreon, where you could get it ad-free. You can get it as a podcast, also on Patreon, ad-free. You can get it in a number of different ways. But the best way to get any kind of funny content, of course, is with the kind of funny membership over on Twitch or, I'm sorry, on Patreon or YouTube. You can get each and every one of our shows ad-free. Watch the podcast lives we record them. And, of course, get my daily Gregway vlog series each and every weekday. If you're new around here, you stumbled in because you heard I'm one of the biggest Ghostbuster fans that Nick's Nick. ever met. Yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, maybe you didn't know we did in review Ghostbusters, yeah, so yeah. you should go watch all three, or I guess four because we have 2016 there too. We watched all the Ghostbusters movies. We ranked and reviewed them. Of course, Frozen Empire will be tossed back into that when it launches in March, but of course, you can search for the uh, Ghostbusters in review on YouTube podcast. Kind of funny. You'd find it, and we'd appreciate that. I tell our Patreon producers to go do it. But I know that James Hastings, Casey Andrew, and Nathan Lamoth have already watched Ghostbusters Interview. They got it early. They got it ad-free, of course, on Patreon and YouTube, but I digress. We're brought to you today by the Kind of Funny membership, but we'll talk about that later. Let's get to it! Show me the domestic trailer all first. The help we can get. Let's get to work. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. <laughs> That's you, Greg. <laughs> I've been waiting 40 years for this. They called themselves Ghostbusters. According to these hacks, they saved Heck. the world. No eyewitnesses. Wait, is that Walter and who is found to carry the, the torch? William Anderson. Of Egon Spengler. You have a miner hanging out the side of a moving vehicle, firing a laser gun indiscriminately. It has a proton pack. It's completely safe. I wouldn't say completely safe. The Ghostbusters are finished. Right. Well, overruled. Sustained. Thank you. You the weird guy who buys strange old things? Correct on both counts. Buddy, you just hit the jackpot. What is it? Better question is, what's inside of it? The parables tell of an unimaginable evil commanding an army of ghosts. With the power to kill by fear itself. Like, literally scared to death? We might be looking at a second Ice Age. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Let's get to work. Can I be of any help? Melnitz in uniform! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> if there's something strange... If there's something weird... Who are people gonna call? Ghostbusters, what do you want? We're the Ghostbusters. Can I tell you something else? What? Buster makes me feel good. <laughs> makes me feel good. <laughs> come, on. That, come on, that was really good. Come on! That was really good. Heads up. It's all dark and horny at 12 o'clock. All right, you're on trap is pretty cool, right? Your boy. Your boy's back! Yeah. Oh, God, I'm glad. Oh, do you think he does the line there? I hope he not. He's line. slime me. Yeah, yeah he's I, got I, I hope not. He's got I like the spit. Just the spit take of it. Let's just sit here with that. I bet he goes... 
Yeah. He slimed me. I bet. I will bet you like that or will you not like that? I will not like that. I don't like that either. I don't, I don't like that to do that. There's a, they have a lot of callbacks because too many. There's too many callbacks. The, uh, Afterlife had too many callbacks. Let's see what we got here. I don't need. I yeah, did. I here's the thing that happens every time. <laughs> you every get excited time. for it. Oh, I can't in. fucking wait for this movie. That trailer was goddamn awesome. You shutting up right now? It's <laughs> even sh- you shutting up right now. <laughs> shut out the there? fuck up, Chad. <laughs> shut up, Creed. It's the fact you you know even Janine grabbing the phone saying Ghostbusters. What do you want? Like, I don't need it, but I like it. You know what I mean? Where I'm like, ah, okay, well, let's go. She's fucking back, and she's in uniform. And fucking Bill Murray calling it out. That's hot. That's hot. So, right that there. I mean, that's that's the the moment of the trailer for me. Because that's a... That a, was not Busted Makes Me Feel... No, it does. Well, that's funny, too. That I mean, the Paul Rudd humor always hits. Uh, the moment for the trailer for me, though, is is getting to see Bill Murray in in character screwing with the rest of the ghost See, yeah. not really taking anything that seriously given given Janine shit for finally being in the costume or whatever that is I, that's the it's dynamic that I'm hoping to get out of this right well it's a costume yeah I hope so it's too I mean I think you know we loved Afterlife uh, I obviously really love Afterlife but even me the biggest Ghostbusters fan Nick knows uh, one of maybe uh, you, the, they tacked the Ghostbusters on at the end right yeah where it was just like, hey, flat top, and the camera just like rotates, and yeah. there they are. I was like, that's a shitty introduction of them. I'd much rather it be that they get to have a few conversations and fuck around with each other and yada, yada, yada. Well, I would love to see. I mean, I'm curious to see what that dynamic's going to be like if they can rekindle anywhere close to what they had in, in the original Ghostbusters. Well, no, but, but I mean, that's, you know, I mean, I don't know. That's that was it, Bill Murray is, is the linchpin for all of that, right? And having him being actually being. I would say like invested in this because it seems like even in these scenes, he's actually like got, he's got energy that he maybe didn't have in some of the other, you know, in the, in the 2016 Ghostbusters. Well, for 2016, don't even bring up his energy in that movie. I thought in Afterlife he had the energy. It's just that they shoved it in way late. It felt but his whole thing of like Spangler, weird name. All right, we're going to go, go get hot cocoa. The, you know, the adults are going to have rum in it or whatever. And right. then even his stuff with uh, Sigourney in that one scene that was just beautiful there at the end. Yeah. Well, I only shock the guys, never the girls. <laughs> okay, I deserve that. <laughs> um, but but it looks good. I mean, this looks fun. It, it's it, my, my worry with it, obviously, is we're just, we got a lot of great talent in this. Yeah. So I'm, just, I'm just like, how are we going to utilize all of these people? How are we going to get Kumail? How are we going to get Patton Oswalt? How are we going to give them adequate screen time well, it seems to, like, to have the jokes hang. It them. seems like it's starting to show up, right? Where, okay, Kumail brings the artifact to raise a cult shop. Sure. So I think then you basically are going to get one scene prior of Kumail finding that thing. That might even be the opening, right? Or of like, kind of like, uh, not the librarian ghost, but the librarian Ghostbusters, sure. where she gets scared at the yes. beginning. Maybe that's the whole deal of Kumail and whatever, whoever he's with finding that thing, something crazy happens. And then he shows up the shop, hands it over and then kind of bounces or goes with the patent and Patton Oswalt's just giving them, Here's the, what the MacGuffin is, and then I think the, I think both of them are gone by then. Interesting. I am a. I don't know. Let's see if the international trailer gives us any more. Actually, yeah. you know what, Barrett? Before we go to the international trailer, let me remind you, ladies and gentlemen, the kind of funny membership is the best way to enjoy our content. Of course, you get the shows ad free. Of course, you get to watch the podcast live as we record on like the kind of funny podcast that's recording this afternoon, <gasps> and. You can get my daily exclusive video vlog series, and it's a podcast. We upload everything as podcast too. Uh, Greg White, but. Apparently, you're not a Kind of Funny member, so here's a word from our sponsor. Kind of Funny turns nine years old today, and we could have made it nine days without your support. That's why 2024 is all about doubling down on our shows and making it simpler than ever for you to get the most out of our content. Our revamped Kind of Funny membership is your one-stop shop for all our amazing content, which now includes on a weekly basis, the Kind of Funny podcast, In Review, the Kind of Funny games cast, P.S. I Love You, XOXO, the Kind of Funny X cast, the brand new series, Kind of Funny Game Showdown. Five episodes of Kind of Funny Games Daily and five exclusive Greg Wave vlogs. And five days of streaming fun with me and the gang here in our newly revamped streaming space. It's going to be filled with a ton of laughter and a whole lot of shenanigans. We'll see you there. That's more than 20 pieces of content a week from an 11-person independent team in San Francisco. That's a lot. And to get the most out of it, all we're asking for is $10. $10 gets you the Kind of Funny membership, and that entitles you to ad-free versions of the shows, the ability to watch the podcast live as we record them, and the exclusive access to my daily show, Greg Way. You can get your Kind of Funny membership on patreon.com slash kindoffunny or youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames. Yes, we are expanding our Kind of Funny membership offering to YouTube so people 
can take full advantage of the platform they prefer. If you want to go above and beyond the Kind of Funny membership to support us, we will still have higher Patreon tiers, albeit with some changed up perks. We just wanted to make the message as clear as possible that the $10 Kind of Funny membership is for the masses to get all the core content people love. Everything above that is very appreciated. The support means the world to us. You all are the best. But the $10 Kind of Funny membership available on both Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny and YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games is where we see the value of what we do. Kind of Funny is a dream come true. and We wouldn't have it without you. We hope if you've ever enjoyed the content, you can support us for at least a month as we prepare for our biggest year ever. Until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you. Okay. Got more. Are we international uh, again, trailering it? I haven't seen any of this stuff. Oh. So I, oh, come on. How much does that hurt you? It was so bad. Because <laughs> uh, then I'm like, I can't look at, you know, Twitter. Yeah. And then Barrett on the way to work was like, hey, can you slack me the things? And I was like, I think so. But when I went to YouTube during a stoplight, it started auto playing. I was like, ah, I gotta wait till I get to the thing. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I don't, I, but I've heard the international trailer has more stuff in it. Okay. So that's why I'm making us watch right, the international watch trailer hit it, Barrett. What is it? The better question is, what's inside of it? An army of ghosts. We've all had experiences and encounters with the unknown and the unexplainable. Here, we pay top dollar for your possessed possessions. Now, this is very, very interesting. Have it for 40. I've never seen anything like this at all. 60. <laughs> <laughs> All over New York City. Ghost attacks are on the rise. Ghostbusters, what do you want? And we are the only ones Hold on your ass. equipped to fight back. Welcome to the new Paranormal Research Center. You just let ghosts hang out in here? We've spent 40 years traveling there. Now we can study them. He's cute. Yeah. Ever since you brought in this orb, strange things have been occurring. You think it's commanding you the spirits. Is something trying to get out? Many things. You could be looking at a full bore army of ghosts with the power to kill by fear itself. Like literally scared to death? That's my sir. So what is the plan? We're the Ghostbusters. We stay and fight for this place. Suit up. Shoot anything that looks terrified. That orb is prophesizing to bring about the end of humankind. The second ice age. A better trailer, I think. A better trailer. Okay. <laughs> you want to go? <laughs> Shall I leave the room? I, no, I mean, it's already gone, but somebody was like, whoa, this looks like ass. And a lot of people are like, oh, this looks great. Well, that looked incredible. That, see, that is like the fucking, that's a Ghostbusters dream picture for me. Yeah. I like this better because it, it, I think it is leaning more toward the scariness of what, a, a, a little touch of horror like Ghostbusters should have in yeah, it, right? Yeah. I th we've seen that shot uh, with the, one of the younger kid Ghostbusters. Her eye sort of freezing. Yeah, we've yeah, seen yeah. that Her in every Lucky trailer. Show some respect. Lucky, thank you. Um, and it's always sort of played for like, oh, this will be an interesting gag. This, you actually feel like, oh, she might be in mortal peril, which I think Ghostbusters always had a touch of a little, a little scariness, right? We had the the moments in the with, with the refrigerator. We had Sigourney. We were getting yeah, pulled yeah, into yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. All that stuff when I was a kid was like actually dogs. kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. scary, right? Yeah, yeah. And so I think you need a touch of that in this. Um, and I think the international trailer, of course, because people in Europe are more mature. Of course. They get they get the more mature trailer. Uh, we can't handle that in America because we're just children here. But yeah, I liked this. I liked this a little bit more. It was less on the side of humor and more on the side of like, let's 
let's show you a little bit more of what the plot elements are going to be and give you a, a darker vibe, which I, I'm always I'm always up for. Yeah, you know, uh, one of the things when we got the teaser, which really is the first trailer, but whatever, when we got the teaser and we did reacts to that, one of the things I walked away going is I'm like, it looks like they're taking a lot of inspiration from real Ghostbusters. They're pulling stuff like that from mm-hmm. it. And as soon as like we got out and people were talking about it, because uh, I forget, was that during the actor strike or right after it? But real quickly, there were art, the Kumail was up and talking about the fact that we, they are taking inspiration from the real Ghostbusters. That's been a conversation. Oh, that's cool. There's a thing called Empire Magazine that's only available in like four locations in the world. Yeah. So I, of course, have not gotten it yet, but they have the cover story on this, and Ben Starr oh. sent me the two copies, so I'll know more soon. Um, it's th- That's been confirmed, and I think you watch that trailer, and Barrett, if you don't mind, if you can just let the international trailer uh, run while we talk, like I think you're getting a lot of that. And again, for me personally, as a Ghostbusters fan, you know, and oh, I'm sorry, me as one of the biggest Ghostbuster fans in the world that Nick knows. Mm-hmm. Um, Get it right. The idea here is the fact that for me, Ghostbusters has always been so broad. You know what I mean? I, so many people sit there and I've seen the commentaries and the takes of just like, man, how does this fucking the two franchise movie thing have such a lasting power, right? When it really is go- real Ghostbusters that c- carry the torch for so long, giving you all these different, you know, the Ghostbusters just going off on case after case after case. Sure. I as much as I loved Afterlife, didn't love it being another Ghost or the Gozarian story. Sure. So the fact that here we are and we're getting a new prophesized demon to end the world and command all ghosts, and I really appreciate something that you got out of this trailer that I had read about through the Instagram posts and people leaking the Empire magazine that, of course, is not available anywhere in the fucking United States for some reason. Um, but here, when they go into whatever yeah. they call it, the ghost environment thing, Barrett, if you can pause and rewind in here and stuff, like you're getting the fact that this is like a division of ghost. It's a research right? facility. Yeah, if right? you, Barrett, when you have the chance to pause and rewind, uh, you're going like in there. I think Barrett is, oh, he's filling the coffee maker. Uh, anyways, they have different ghost patches, right? And Lucky's got it. She's got it on her arm there. She's in the black outfit. She's got it on her arm, like a gear, like they're the Ghostbusters engineering apartment. I love that idea of, I was thinking about it after reading about it in Empire. And mm. see, even one frame back, you got a really good one of the guy whose name I don't know. Yeah, putting it in the containment unit here. You see all, multiple people working here, though. But he's got the patch on there. He's this. This guy, again, only from the Empire magazine that is available in three places on Earth, uh, is uh, been described to be an Egon Spengler type character. Uh, you see him working on this stuff, being down here. I love that this gives the... Ghostbusters, uh, James Acaster. I don't know who that is, but that's who he is, apparently. James Acaster and his team down here doing all this research. You see multiple people just doing their jobs there. It gives me a real Men in Black vibe, yeah. but also a Men in Black vibe of year one that we didn't really see with Men in Black, sure. where it was already an established organization, like the pictures whereas of, this uh, is yeah. like, hey, uh, because clearly the Spanglers look like they're being introduced to all this information right here, right, of the tests and things they're doing. So the idea that, hey, Ghostbusters, you know, now that Winston's brought it back and is in charge of it, is making it a big business, can make it a, hopefully an international business. This is, you know, not to get ahead of myself, but you look at this and you go, oh man, there's a lot of cool stories to tell in this world that aren't just in New York, that aren't just this. And even this of, you know, getting uh, Eleanor Twitty back, the librarian ghost, right? Like having her out there to fuck around with stuff, having Slimer back and look cool and shit. Like this fucking looks awesome. Man, wouldn't it be cool if I had to go to the librarian for information? That'd be rad. Talk to her finally? Yeah, talk yeah. to her. Think Betty's has to do it again. Like, Where are you from originally? Originally, uh, I agree with you. I like that. I'm always, I'm always down for them, you know, fleshing out sort of the, the environment in a creative way. And I think them having a research facility kind of makes sense, right? If you're, if you're just out there contain, uh, con, sorry, containing these ghosts, yeah. At a certain point, you'd be like, let's study them, let's yeah. do this, and it's a cool Which environment. Is such a, again, and I know this won't work for a lot of people, but for me, it works real well, right? Such a cartoon thing of like doing the experiments and like you getting like that. The wor- the the lab they have there in the basement with the research folks mm-hmm. doesn't look like a real like if that looks out of place in a way for what eighty four Ghostbusters was. Clearly, I think there's been a, there's been a build to it, and it looks like with all the cobbled together stuff and the books and the drinks, but having the ghosts inside the containment glass here, you know what I mean, where you can yeah. look at them like a zoo, like that's a goofy cartoon idea where, that they've literally done before, and they of course did it in the video game too, uh, where Slimer was in a little box and broke out and he was your tutorial or whatever, like I love this, don't get me wrong, I just like that, it's getting into a little bit more of what can be absurd about Ghostbusters. Yeah, but I think production design wise, they did a really good job here, right, we've got the original containment units, the red doors, uh, we've got the subway tiles that's really tying it into New York. So I think it feels organically like this is a part of the Ghostbusters world. 100%. It feels like it's an extension of the firehouse, which I think is good. Um, and it's interesting. At the end of the day, like, you know, you can't 
I think Ghostbusters too, and I know I'm gonna throw a little shade at that movie. I know it's, it's near and dear to your heart, but like, but there's lots of shade to throw at that movie. We're doing a repeat, right? We can't keep doing a repeat. We've got to flesh out the team. We've got to, we've got to expand the world in a way that gives them the opportunity to tell more stories. Um, and and I think that's a smart idea. Again, my 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 worry is that we're we're a little too big here. I don't. I still don't love some of the scenes we're seeing here with like the the fake shards of ice coming through, like the CG shards of ice everywhere. Um, See, I I think I complained about that in the teaser trailer, right? And then Tim thought they actually looked good or whatever. What I like about it is seeing now the world around it. Like they're doing a great job, I think, of color palace. And and I, I look at that world, and even though it looks like that that pile of garbage doesn't look like a real pile of garbage, but it fits for a pile of garbage in this movie. Sure. And I thought the the ice we've seen across the board here fits for the world they're doing. Not to mention that my hope, of course, is that that is just the big ultimate moment right like the ice coming in and chasing people off the beach sure this thing here of I'm like, look how fucking great that looks to see the, well, the, the, the fire the, po- the proton beams getting getting iced. frozen that's yeah. wild yeah that's a really cool like visual. this seems like obviously the ultimate thing here that's the third act turning show point up right yada, yada, yada. and like i think there it'll it'll work really nicely i hope uh we'll see we'll see how they escalate that uh bear can you go back to like i think right after this we get a shot of the entire ensemble at some point if you scroll through i just want to look at Look at that. I think it might have been right before. It that. might have been right. Oh, there you know. You're yeah, there right it is right there. there. So this is like and, obviously incredible, but if we can, yeah, if we can frame back there. I mean, look at how many characters we have in this. Yeah. I this this makes me worry. Really? <laughs> well, because like if you took here's if you my, took any three of these people, you'd have a different movie and a, and a so fun one. So here's my thing about it though. Again, and first off, we would talk about callbacks and whatever, right? Like I love that you assume Dan Aykroyd came on set and was like, I want to do the exact thing I did as I busted Slimer the first fucking time in the Sedgwick Hotel, right? Where he's got his Neutrona wand all the way up to his face, so it's lighting his face. Like, that's a direct callback to Ghostbusters 1, everybody. Take it to the fucking bank. But my thing about it is, I, I really think, again, with the old guard, uh, and especially Bill Murray, Annie Potts, and probably Dan there in, in outfit, right? Is This is, like, pretty much right after Venkman comes to the door and says, need some help? Melnitz in the uniform. Ah, like, I think that's like right before this scene. So I, really? do, I, 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 bet, I, I think you're getting a lot of Ernie Hudson. I think you're getting a lot of Dan Aykroyd. I think as, Ernie, yeah, I think Ernie's going to anchor it. He's right? running the Ghostbusters. Right. He's the one talking to the city about it. He's the one dealing with the mayor, Dan running the shop next door, uh, whatever. And then I think it's the new cast that are really doing it. But at the end here, when shit goes down, everybody's for freezing, yada, yada, yada. They come back in here. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. hold on. No, go back, please. To where, exactly where you were there. Jimmy Dugues in the chat says, the two characters on the right are th- fully new, I think. Jimmy, you need to get your head out of your fucking ass, all right? From the right, we have, of course, Logan Kim, podcast. He grew up, that's right. And then you got Lucky. These are people from Afterlife. And then the kid right behind Jimmy, him. you are, I'm telling you right now to go home and watch fucking Afterlife again right now, all God, right? Do it. You sound like a fucking idiot. Jimmy, before you come into our chat again, you need to have watched Afterlife at least three that's times. That's a big punishment. Okay. It's not a watch it. Shut up. Go watch an anime. It's actually a fun work. movie. I don't think my wife's seen it. We might watch it tonight. Maybe we'll watch it for day night. What I want to do uh, leading up to this, and you can let it play again, Bear. Thank you so much. Uh, if you even want to go back to the first one and let that play, if there's anything we want to yell about that. Uh, I'm excited, and what I want to do and talk to you and Mike and the stream team about is working backwards and picking maybe the three days before this movie, but then it gets weird if we get to go see like an early screening. I want to watch all three of them and I want to stream it, like do react. Oh, you want to do like a, you want to like, uh, like you guys a, a do the, the watch- Yeah, that's yeah, the movie fun. watch alongs. So that's I want to do fun. those, but I want to do it in a way that benefits me. Oh, okay. not just the people who are going to see the movie. You know what I mean? I'd like to see all three of them right before I go see it. So if I get to go early to go see it somewhere, it's one of those fuck you guys. I'm going to have to go see it. You might okay. Be. So just to, as your lawyer, let me yeah. just uh, preface this in legal terms. Greg will do whatever he wants mm-hmm. and this might not happen. It'll happen, but it'll benefit me. Right. So it might happen at 10 o'clock in the afternoon, or it might happen at midnight when Greg and I really party. 10 o'clock in the afternoon? 10, 10 o'clock in the morning? Afternoon. Okay. 10 p.m. Shut up. Aren't you watching anime? I ordered you to watch anime. Go throw the coffee machine. <laughs> Do I need to slap myself again? Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm fucking stoked. Like, I've, I, here's the thing. Ghostbusters movie, I'm going to go see it no matter what, right? And I've proven this in the past, no matter what. Uh, this, I'm fucking, I'm, ah, that's, that's how I am right now. You're, you're keyed out. Ah! Up, I can't man. fucking wait. You can't. Uh, right you know, I'm a lot more excited about this than I was the first time. I think we're seeing, we, we've seen a couple bits of humor here that really hit for me. Some not so much, unfortunately. Yeah. But 
Uh, yeah, I mean, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna watch the hell out of it. This I like a lot. Whatever this ghost is, whatever the, yeah, the yeah, bad guy the that ghost. Can, yeah, the ice ghost. Can I just that show, looks cool. Let me call on one from the YouTube chat. Spurb sure. says, "Will Vankman sacrifice himself at the end so Bill doesn't have to do any more of these movies?" First off, I'm sure Bill's happy to get the paycheck. Don't worry about it. One second. Uh, and secondly, absolutely not. I don't know. Ghostbuster will die in this movie. Nor should they. That's not what these movies are. All we right. we yeah we don't need a Ghostbusters to die. We don't need the Dumbledore moment where Dumbledore has to die so that Harry can, hey, go, only, can go on and do the, the same. The only we only 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 possible way they would do that is then to immediately have the joke of Bill Murray's ghost hanging out with him, and then he's just going to be a ghost the rest away. And I don't think they would do. I don't that. think they're going to do that. Or maybe they do. Maybe he signs his life away or the, the likeness away, and they're just going <laughs> to they're going to CG ghost him the rest of the time and get an interpreter maybe or uh, maybe an impersonator. Uh, in the chat, Darth Thebus says, Nick, this or the new Roadhouse movie. Oh, come on. Oof, don't eat. Tough don't call, eat, man. Don't eat, don't eat. Tough call. I, I mean. Fucking Roadhouse. Get let's see, we'll let's see what Paul Rudd, uh, Rudd's abs look like in this, but yeah, I don't exactly. think he's going to hold a candle to Jake Gyllenhaal. Nothing can hold a candle to Jake Holy Jake 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 some very good steps toward laying a foundation for a Ghostbusters franchise in the future for this. So it'll be maybe we'll have some fun. You fucking believe it, ladies and gentlemen. A Ghostbusters franchise. We push through. We push through. Insane. The Ghostbusters cinematic like, I think about universe. how lucky I am that this thing I've loved, like theoretically, 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 the next Ghostbusters movie, I could probably take Ben to and he would be enjoying it. Because today yeah. we were running around the house and he was using his Neutrona wand to bust Slimer. Sure. Good. Good fucking time to be that's Ladies great. and gentlemen, this has been just a fucking dynamite two trailers for Ghostbusters. Of course, this is Kind of Funny Live Reactions, a division of the Kind of Funny Screencast. We have a million different shows where we talk about movies. Of course, if you liked this one, like, subscribe, share. Of course, get that Kind of Funny membership over on Patreon and YouTube so you can get our shows ad-free, live as we record them, and get that Greg Wave log each and every day. I can't believe how lucky I am. I'm so excited. I'm I'm and I, now I get to make new suits too. I get to go make a a, a black suit with. Well, we didn't even talk pad. about the new logo, the research pad. Hell yeah, I think it's hot. I think it's, it's kind of splattered, right? Is it, is no, it it's like a gear. Oh, it's, it's a like gear. a gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, right. So here's the real question before we leave. Sure. Who, as we start getting these new divisions, how do we break them up for people and kind of funny? Who's in the research kind of, division? I mean, Kevin's the Kevin Who's, Cool Greg got the kind of funny re, the Ghostbusters oh, research division. And then we're the shooters. Oh yeah, we go out there. Yeah. We bust them. Yeah, the bus Tim's the pizza delivery boy. I don't want to talk to him. I don't want him even here. <laughs> Can Tim be the delivery guy from 2016 that just doesn't only brings him <laughs> one, one mozzarella? <laughs> <mozzarella. laughs> <One mozzarella. laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, it's been our pleasure to serve you.